A president has to have immunity. And the other thing is I did nothing wrong. Former President Donald Trump is not getting the immunity he is seeking for any potential crimes committed while he was president. A federal appeals court ruled today Trump must go to trial on a criminal indictment accusing him of seeking to overturn his loss to President Biden. Trump has claimed that he has was immune to charges of plotting to change the results of the 2020 election. <clears throat> excuse me, because he had presidential immunity. Now, the former president and current Republican frontrunner is expected to make an appeal to the Supreme Court. Trump slammed the ruling shortly after it came down. A statement issued through his campaign office says in part that if immunity is not granted to a president, every future president who leaves office will immediately be indicted by the opposing party. And that without complete immunity, a president of the United States would not be able to properly function, end quote. Queen City News Chief Legal Analyst Khalif Rhodes standing by, and he's been with us every step of the way during Trump's legal saga. Yeah, Khalif, the judges came down today very, very harsh on Trump's claims here. You don't have to look further than the first three pages of this opinion. It's 57 pages. I looked at every last one of them. But if you want to know how a judge feels, you can look back to their original arguments. I already knew what was coming. But this opinion, the first three pages, it says it clearly. Today, we affirm the denial of the district court judge for the purpose of this criminal case. Former President Trump has become citizen Trump. So you are not President Trump for this case. You're citizen Trump because your actions were not presidential. And I totally agree with former President Trump. A president should and must have immunity for actions that are done while, they were, while they're the president or when they're within the presidential scope. Your actions were not within the presidential scope. That's why the judge, the district court judge in this court of appeals found that you are not immune and you have to go to trial. Well, what else is in the Constitution, though? What else keeps you from being immune to these kinds of things? Well, the fact that he's a regular citizen. This is upholds the law of the Constitution that says that no one is above the law first and that we have a checks and balance. And so because you are the executive, it doesn't mean that you can go out, like they said in oral arguments, and go kill someone and be immune. And that's what his attorneys were basically arguing. This was a very novel, very unique, very new argument that no one has ever ma made before that because I'm the president, solely because of that reason and nothing else, I cannot be criminally charged. There's precedent for civil cases. There's precedent for doing things within the scope of the office. But there is nothing in the Constitution or case law that says the president, by solely being the president, cannot be criminally charged. Nowhere ever found, and it wasn't today. The Supreme Court, I don't think, will not even touch this case. I think they'll make a decision to punt because it will allow them to dig into political waters that they don't have to. The court has spoken. They can go back and say, the Court of Appeals already spoke. We don't need to touch this. They can open theirself up to do that, but I think that would be a mistake. Yeah, you're talking about the Supreme Court there. Trump admittedly says that he didn't think he was going to win this type of case, but it, it is about delay, and that's what he wants to have. But he may have misstep. And the next step for the Supreme Court would be another delay. He may have misstep, though, because think about it. Last week, the court, Chuck, in Detroit, I mean, in D.C., decided to push the case. It was set for March 6th. Then she moved it. She was waiting on this decision. Well, we got a decision now. She could put it right back on the docket. It would be extremely rare for the Supreme Court to accept this case because they don't have to touch it. For these other cases where you have other courts that are making decisions regarding him being on the ballot, you know, stuff with abortion, stuff with affirmative action, they have to dig deep into this. This court was unanimous in their decision in deciding that the Constitution was extremely clear that it doesn't give you protection solely by being the president to have immunity. It, it was well written. It laid out the foundation and attacked this argument every line of the way. And so I don't even think the Supreme Court wants to address it, let alone they won't even grant cert. If they grant cert, I would be entirely surprised. All right. And as we know, we've been following this for uh, quite some time now, just one of many cases that we are keeping our eye on. Golly, thank you.